So there was a case of a woman that was possessed with devils, violently possessed. And I got to her house. She became aggressive. And meanwhile, she was not manifesting anything, just normal. In fact, she called me that morning and requested that I should please come. So as I shook hands with her that morning, she began to scream. And the power of God came upon her and was turning every way upside down. Went to pick bottles. I was going to break the bottle on a newborn baby's head. That was how violent she became. So I, I sat down and I told the two of my boys that went with me. I said, cast out that devil. So I sat down and I requested for a bottle of Coke. So when doing, you know, it was like I was watching an actual film. They would do drama out there. Hey, I said, ah, you will go. Ah, I said, you will go. Hey, Sip my Coke. Sometimes you will run towards me. <laughs> Laugh. I've heard of demons that serve some pastors. If you believe they can slap you, they will slap you. <laughs> I say, the man of God is powerless. It's not, he's not necessarily powerless. He may just be ignorant. Once you are ignorant of the power you have in Christ, you are as good as powerless. Meanwhile, the power is there, but we are not using it. Do you understand what I'm saying? Authority is authority any day, any time. Let me explain. Hold on. Don't write yet. Let me tell you what that means. If, I, I, of course, I believe everyone here went through secondary school. If you go to your principal's office to lay a complaint, and when you get there, your principal is sleeping. Do you go and draw your principal's beard and say, now that he's sleeping, yeah, yeah, man. Look at him. Do you do that? Even in that sleeping state, he's a man of authority. Do you understand what I'm saying? I'm going to show you where we have gotten it all wrong. And we, we so desperately need teachers to recon, reconfigure our theologies. To reconfigure our theologies. Now, get what I'm saying. So the woman was doing all that. They were there. I finished my coke. I got bored. I got tired. I felt like lying down while... Nothing seemed to be happening. And these are men who are spirit filled, tongue speaking, Holy Ghost saturated. So I called the woman's daughter. As at then she was about 17, 16. So I called her. She was just crying. She said, I don't know what's happening to my mommy. I said, Don't worry, your mommy will be fine. So I said, Look at your mommy in the eyes and tell that spirit to get out and the girl was just crying and she stood there in a naive state and she just stretched her hands I was crying I command you in the name of Jesus get out of my mommy and the spirit screamed and the spirit left once why couldn't the first cast out the spirit though they are ministers if you say they were powerless, after all, this girl did not. <laughs> Do you get what I'm saying? She has not built any momentum. Do you understand what I'm saying? This was just a normal girl, a normal teenager. I've gotten her born again a year before. So let me give you another instance. In the year 2000 and um, 20, precisely, 2012. How many years ago is that? 11 years. I got a call. Ah, Pastor, wherever you are, please come to our hostel now. There's fire on the mountain. <laughs> ah, what's happening? I got there. One girl was just holding knife. I will burn you. <laughs> and everybody were running. Girls was there, locking the door. I will burn. Well, not Lawrence Oyo that wants to burn the world. <laughs> That's a good way to burn the world. But I was like, 
who born you. Ah. Nice. Manifesting for honesty. So as I got there, they were able to disarm her. Praise God. They were going to cast out devils and the demon possesses holding a knife, take away the knife. <laughs> take away the knife. Then exercise authority. Wisdom, authority. <laughs> so you don't have to bandage your head. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> so, this was a very painful case. Because by the time I got to that place, already on ground, at least, at least nine pastors were on ground. In fact, I did not come alone. I came with a senior minister. And the moment they said, I said, this is what is happening. And they have called him too. Because I couldn't go without his permission. He said, let's get anointed oil. You don't need anointing oils to cast out devils. What you need is the name of Jesus. If care is not taken, we have entered into idolization of artifacts. I bless God that I can pray over an handkerchief and it becomes loaded with power. But you are more useful and more powerful than the handkerchief. Do you understand what I'm saying? If a man of God lays hand on an handkerchief and says, take it, heal the sick with it. How can something that is inanimate generate? Why don't you say, lay the hands on me? Let me be the mobile power. And every time you have to look for handkerchief, the same way an abalish will look for Banter, you know that spiritual belt, they wipe you. <laughs> Amen. I've, I've been in very troublesome situation a few times. Not really a few, a couple of times. But I've been trusting God for the day somebody will get angry and wipe me with that thing. I say, This is my banter. Hey, you are the one that will fall. I can tell you stories. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, a pastor, a young minister came, they, they would pour anointing oil inside this girl's mouth. Oh, pour oil. She would pour everybody's face. And I get easily irritated. So, I <laughs> could get those, many of those stuff. One man came, then came, and said, now, leave her. Leave her. Leave her now. I said, I command you. Get out. Before my very eyes, dirty slap. The man of God returned his own. <laughs> uh, dirty slap. Then, I got to eat again. I command those hands to wither. The hands that have slapped you. Do you understand what I'm saying? Then, I'm telling you a very true story. We were there from around past nine till past twelve. This demon was saying, I will burn you. I will burn you. I began to, I discovered that all the ministers started living one by one. All. Imagine the hostel situation where we have both Muslims and Christians. And they were all watching. So they can't cast out this demon. So they can't cast out this. And finally it was the person I came with that was the final person to leave. I said, look at my room, look at my room. The power of God has been released, you know. She's going to be free overnight. <laughs> A very intelligent way to escape. And as we're about to go, the Lord spoke to me at the gate and said, Why didn't you lay hands on the girl? Why didn't you pray? I said, I, I came with very more senior people, so there's nothing. He said, Have you prayed? And I did not answer. So I said, I'm sorry, Lord. So I went back. And by this time, the girl was already locked in one room alone and she was still holding a knife. So I picked a reading chair and put it in front of her and sat down. And I asked her, what's your name, young lady? She looked at me said, my name is Queen of the Coast. Queen of the Coast? What are you doing here? She said, I don't know. Queen of the Coast, are you ready to go out? Say, by whose authority? I said by Jesus' authority, I said I will go. It was a simple conversation. 
now in the name of Jesus get out of this body that was it simple conversation fell down rolled and began to ask where am I what's happening to me ah who is this where am I free Why don't many believers succeed? The way they shout is a proof they don't know the authority they have. Listen to me. You can stand before a demon possessed and in the name of Jesus, I say, we are hearing you shout. It looks like you are a man who knows authority. Or you might be shouting from fear. It can be baseless. Many believers are defeated before even they just say, I rebuke. You know, they say, sons of scaffolds. Right? They say, I, I cast you a name of Jesus, whom Paul preached. Whom? Do you understand what I'm saying? You don't cast out demon in the name of the God of Apostle Femi Lazarus. As you've been funny. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Get out! And that's it. And anywhere you see demons, you cast them out. Because the same authority that Jesus has has been given to you. Matthew 28 verse 18. said, all power has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Verse 19. Go ye therefore into all nations. Say loud and cry, I have all power. Say it again emphatically, I have all power. Say it again, I have been empowered to cast out devils. Come on, say it again, I have been empowered. Say it again, I have been empowered 